Hi everybody, welcome to this third edition of Internet, the festival for contemporary Indian inspired culture, which will be presented in a slightly different way than the previous editions you might have seen before. My name is Prasanna Uman and I'm a Cologne-based moderator and communication consultant for art, culture, diversity and migration. And I'm very happy that I was invited to contribute a little bit to this very special project in my hometown, Cologne. The Internet Exhibition Series is now taking place for the third time and we are right now at the top of the Kunsthaus Renania in Cologne, where the two first exhibitions in 2018 and 2019 took place. Everything is different this year due to the pandemic. But during this challenging time, we could observe one interesting development all over the globe. Flexibility is definitely not an alien expression for the independent cultural scene. It is required throughout if you're working in the creative sector, everybody knows that. And that is why the creatives became creative again, when they couldn't follow their usual routines of traveling and exhibiting. And the same is taking place here. The third edition of Internet was not canceled, but transferred to a virtual space. And I'm very happy that I can now talk to the initiator, Manoj Kurien Kalupurakil, who has been working tirelessly on this third edition. He's here next to me, keeping a distance, of course, but live and not in Zoom. Manoj, it's great that you're here. And I'm happy that I can talk to you. I know it's important to you, you don't want to hold long speeches, but maybe or hopefully someone will just drop in spontaneously today and has never ever heard about internet before. So I ask very simple, what is this all about, internet? Um, internet is about empowering creatives from all over who have a connection to India. And um, in our preliminary talk, you were very specific about this intersections between art, technology and design. Why is that important for you? Um, it's very important to me because I have a design background and, mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, it's design is about communication and uh, in, in the arts I feel uh, it has become very exclusive for a lot of people and since um, I would like to also um, yeah, connect people and all kinds of people uh, it's very important to me to uh, make art and design and uh, all these things uh, more accessible. When you say all kinds of people, um, it is very important to you, and this is what I felt when we talked, um, to represent or to present non-European artists and creatives. Why is that important, especially in these times? Um, I was born and raised in Germany uh, with uh, Indian backgrounds. So my parents migrated to Germany uh, and of course uh, it was not really common to become, to follow a profession in the creative field. So uh, I also realized that, um, yeah, that there, are, there were not many role models for me at that time. And um, I think that um, showed me, uh, yeah, as well that um, those people need more visibility uh, to inspire more uh, yeah, young people also to, to follow uh, not only the standard jobs. Internet, it's a creative German-English combination. Why this? What do you want to tell us? Uh, frankly speaking, it's not my invention. There was a platform <laughs> uh, many years ago in, in Germany, which was uh, yeah, meant for the Indian uh, yeah, second generation. Mm -hmm. Uh, here in Germany, so uh, I was inspired by that name um, to yeah to create this kind of platform since it's about uh, Indian inspired art um, as I said um, for people who use the internet as a tool and a platform and a yeah and a stage so that so that name was perfect easy Very to pronounce much. for everyone for Germans for Indians yeah, and you can and always talk about it exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Anybody who was originally from Cologne knows there is not such thing like German patriotism in Cologne. Cologne is only patriotic about itself, which is annoying and adorable at the same time, I think. We even beat the Bavarians. So, 
speaking honestly, is Cologne really a transcultural art hotspot, the place to be? Wouldn't that be Berlin? Or are you really, do you really believe in this place? I totally believe in this place. Uh, I was, as I said, born and raised here. And of course, maybe it's not there yet, but I wouldn't compare it to Berlin because Berlin is totally different. Cologne definitely, for me, has more soul and um, yeah, more, the people are more connected. And I would say, um, yeah, anyone can also become a, a Kölner, uh, a Cologne person. So I think, uh, yeah, from that point of view, uh, it's not that segregated like other cities or the communities are not that segregated. So I guess there's a lot of transcultural things happening and there will be more in future as well. Yeah, a good connection or building up good connections is a very good reason to place the exhibition here. So let's have a look at the content. In German, you have the saying, alle guten Dinge sind drei, all good things come in threes. So what is so special about the third edition? Uh, the third edition, I would say, is important because, I mean, the last two editions were really amazing, like in this beautiful space. So it was about meeting new people, showing amazing artwork and um, yeah, experiencing art uh, as it's supposed to be experienced. Um, but of course, we couldn't invite all artists or it was not possible for a lot of artists to be present here. Uh, I hope that's going to change in the future as well. Um, so this time we used the opportunity to, um, yeah, to focus more on the artist uh, and um, to give, to see their perspectives and uh, to give them a voice and a face uh, for the for the viewers. Um, that uh, yeah, even when they are far away and uh, mm -hmm. and still doing their work, um, so that was really important to me. So that's why um, the yeah the main program consists of interviews of. Artists. Yeah, you and your team developed a very specific event architecture for the entire exhibition that makes it easy, I think, and comfortable to immerse into a so-called exhibition flow. Can you just describe very briefly for our international audience, how did you plan the exhibition days? We have four days and every day the program is going to start at the same time. Uh, it's starting with, uh, with the workshop and then followed by a couple of interviews, um, like five to, no, like three to four interviews, I guess. And then we're gonna finish up with a live performance uh, or which was recorded live. Um, and um, yeah, and then we might have some special uh, chats on Instagram and the closing session on, on Sunday, hopefully, if everything goes well. <laughs> okay, so that sounds really, very, I mean, you can follow very well, and which is nice for exhibition oh, business. I forgot something. Oh, yeah. There's, I mean, enough time yeah. between the screenings, so the people uh, should use that time to look at the showcases mm -hmm. that will be online on the website and read about the artist. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's so they have free time and they can consume exactly. the screenings, yeah. which is nice. Even yeah. when you go to an exhibition, it's nice to take your own time to look at things that would interest you and, uh, yeah, and then find out more about the artist. Cool. Thank you very much, Manoj. Thank you. And very much. lots of success. Enjoy the festival and don't work too much. Thanks. Of course, Manoj didn't organize the whole exhibition by himself. That would be impossible. He has a great and dedicated team who supported him throughout. I'm very happy to welcome Sepide Fazlani, who has co curated the exhibition. Hi, Sepide. Hi. Welcome. What can we expect on day one? Wir haben Showcases und Interviews von zwei Fotografinnen. Und ähm, was ich aber besonders interessant finde an diesem Tag, ist ähm, das Interview mit äh, Dennis Freischlad, der im Moment auch noch im Lockdown in Indien ist und äh, von dort auch sein Interview gemacht hat. Und ähm, er hat unter anderem ähm, auch einen äh, Text geschrieben, den ich sehr interessant finde wo er ähm, gesagt hat, äh, wie hart äh, der, der Lockdown für ihn war. Ähm, auch, äh, dass es eine härtere Erfahrung für ihn ist, als zum Beispiel, dass er bei der äh, NASA-Mars-Mission mitgemacht hat und da zwei Monate äh, sich gar nicht bewegen durfte. Wahnsinn, da bin ich sehr gespannt drauf. So, how will this day end? How will you close the day one? Ja, also der Tag 1 äh, wird beendet mit einem wunderbaren Konzert von Keshavara, ähm, der ja auch aus Köln kommt. Ähm, ja, es wird ganz spannend, eine ähm, 
sehr experimentelle und äh, bunte Mischung. Thank you very much, Sepide. So, dear audience, you heard it's an inspiring program. Please, all over the world, please watch it. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned and enjoy. Thank you.